Welcome to Echoes of Time, the podcast where we delve into the timeless poetry of William Shakespeare. I'm your host, Alexandra Antikova, and today we will be journeying through the evocative lines of Sonnet 73. This sonnet takes us into the heart of themes like aging, love, and mortality. Let's explore together how these themes resonate resonate with us today. Um, Let me first read the sonnet for you. The time of year thou mayst in me behold, When yellow leaves, or none, or few do hay, Upon those boughs which shake against the cold, Their ruined choirs were late the sweet birds sing. In me thou seest the twilight of such day, As after sunset fadeth in the west, Which by and by black night doth take away, Death's second self that seals up all in rest. In me thou seest the glowing of such fire, that on the ashes of his youth doth lie, as the deathbed whereon it must expire, consumed with that which it was nourished by. This thou perceivest which makes thy love more strong, to love that well which thou must leave ere long. This sonnet is a profound exploration of aging symbolized by the images of yellow leaves and bare ruined choirs. These metaphors represent the natural cycle of life and the inevitable decay that comes with time. Shakespeare's imagery is not just uh, about physical aging, but also about the philosophical reflection on life's impermanence. Let's talk about mortality, a central theme in Sonnet 73. The phrase, death's second self that seals up all in rest, is particularly striking. It personifies de- death as a peaceful end, a restful closure to life's tumultuous journey. This metaphor challenges us to reflect on our own mortality and the natural conclusion of life's cycle. The sonnet also delves into love and loss. As the speaker contemplates his own aging, there is an acknowledgement that love remains, perhaps even grows stronger in the face of mortality. This is a poignant reminder of the power of love to transcend the physical constraints of time. How do these themes relate to our lives today, in our fast-paced world where we often overlook the natural cycles of life? Sonnet 73 invites us to pause and reflect. It asks us to consider the beauty and tragedy inherent in aging and inevitability of mortality and the enduring nature of love. Shakespeare's use of metaphor and imagery in Sonnet 73 serves not only as a poetic technique, but as a bridge connecting his era to ours. His words encourage us to embrace the transient nature of our existence, and to value the depth and strength of our relationships. In closing, I invite you to ponder on these themes. How does this not resonate with you in the context context of your own life? How do you perceive the passage of time, the inevitability of mortality, and the power of love? Thank you for joining me on this journey through Sonnet 73. Until next time, keep exploring the echoes of time through the immortal words of Shakespeare.